a fantastic and deserved result today. Uh, yeah, I think right from minute one, I think it obviously helps when you score an early goal like we did. It was a really good move, and Josh arriving in the penalty area just to cipher it into the net was was just the tonic for us really in front of the crowd. The crowd was, I mean, it was noisy. You know, it was really loud. So um, yeah, it was good to get our noses in front. Um, they're a, they're a difficult side to play against, and obviously they've got um, they've got some good players. They've got they've got some really good players on the bench, so you know they're going to change it from whatever time. But we took charge of the game right from the first minute all the way through the game. I thought we we were we were on top. Um, they had some bits of bits of moments, but uh, we defended the set plays, the long throws. You know they stopped doing the long throws. I don't, I don't know why, whether it was an injury or whatever to Roberts. I don't know. Um, but they can mix it mix it up as well. It's not that they're a one trick pony really. You know they've got, uh, like I said, they've got some clever players in the side. Mejbrew came on and, and made a difference for them, um, and uh, Bakuna as well. You know they've got some they've got some good players, some classy players really. So uh, to come away with a two 0 win is is fantastic in front of that crowd. Um, last home game of the season in the normal league. Hopefully we can we can extend it, but. Um, like I say, we've got uh, we've got plenty of work to do, but we've got uh, we've got nine days before the next game, so you know they can have a breather. We've got a we've got a end of season awards dinner tomorrow night, which I'll let them, I'll let them let their hair down for a little bit. But other than that, they can uh, they can work next week. Um, so they get a couple of days, then we'll be back in and working towards the Middlesbrough game. So really good uh, really good day's work another clean sheet um, some really good performances I thought Gus was excellent again I thought Victor was a handful all night all afternoon even though he got whacked on his ankle and hopefully we can settle that down Matty got and worked again selflessly tirelessly and, um, and and I thought did really really well they were lucky not to get a goal or two more you know the work between the, the two of them and and, uh, and Josh Eccles and um, and Gustavo and then obviously Kells behind them and you know was, I thought it was a fantastic overall performance Fads gets another cut on his head and bandages up and you know it's just it's just a brilliant day really um, not that he's got a cut on his head obviously but he's, you know the fact that we've done what we've done and Brooke did very very well I thought and um, and bidders on the other side you know we, we just look we just look comfortable we looked in control of everything the three the three lads at the back just marshaled everything that they threw at us Djukovic is a really difficult he's a handful you know and he's got a bit of confidence he's played some games lately he scored a couple of goals as well so to um, yeah to win it local local game local derby game it's the first time we've beat them here um, I think I'm so right in saying it first time. I think obviously nil nil draw last year, which was a disappointing game, but different again today. Middlesbrough now you've got a few days to to get ready for that one. I mean, how are you going to approach it? Because in theory, a point will be enough um, to to see you into the top six. Yeah, it's a bit of a longer week, so the week will probably look slightly different. But um, look, we've got a process and a way of working that we've we've stuck to all year. So. Nothing's nothing's going to change. Aidy, the gaffer, and Dennis will will draw us up a game plan. You know, we'll work all week towards that. And like I say, nothing will change in terms of the process. We'll go up there looking for a performance. I'd imagine. You know, I don't think we're the type of team to go up there and, and look for a point. You know, I think people can see all year we've been on the front foot, and I'd imagine that's what we'll be um, on Monday. So, um, but like I say. Um, regroup for the next couple of days and then see what um, see what the plan is once we get back in. Whatever happens on the Riverside, I mean, it's it's just been a bonkers transformation from effectively being rock bottom in October to finding yourself favourites to secure a, a playoff spot. Yeah, no, like I say, I think it, if you were at the start of the season, I think everyone would have took the scenario, and I think after six, seven games, whatever it was, I think people would have said you were mad if that's what um, you said was going to happen. So. Look, it's a, we're a tight group, tight group of players, tight group of staff. You know, everyone works hard for each other, and you know, in this league, that can take you a long way. So we've obviously got quality in there as well. But you know, we've got a great togetherness, and you know, hopefully, you know, we've got a few more games this season to come. Hopefully, yeah. Clearly, it means a lot to you and the, play the rest of the players, but it obviously means a heck of a lot to the fans, and that's the record attendance for a league match at the CBS. Yeah, no, I think that that speaks volumes. Um, you know. With the cost of living crisis and all that, that's that's something the gaffer spoke about early on in the season. You know, 
football is a release for people and it's difficult for people to come to the game so to get that them numbers and that support behind us not just today you know all over the country all season you know I think back to the Blackpool game and things like that when it was almost Blackpool away it was like a, it felt like a home game you know the, the support's been unbelievable um, all season so like I say hopefully there's, there's a bit more to come yet.